given question two smooth cylinders each of weight 1000 newton and radius 15 cm are connected at their centers by a string ab of length 40 cm and rest upon horizontal plate supporting above them a third cylinder of weight 2000 newton and radius 15 cm determine the reactions at point of contact d and e let us understand given system there are three cylinders a b c each of radius 15 cm the distance in between the center a and b is equal to 40 cm and the cylinder with center c is placed above these two cylinders a and b where the weight of each cylinder is given weight of cylinder a and b is equal to 1000 newton each and the weight of cylinder c is 2000 newton now we have to find out the reaction at the contact points d and e so we have to first find out the angle of inclination of the lines joining the center so first we will join the center of these three cylinders i will join the center a and c now here is the string ab so the centers a and b are connected with the help of string and this string having distance is equal to 40 cm we will also join the center b and c now we have to find out the angle of inclination of the line ac and of the line bc with this vertical so we will draw one perpendicular line passing through point c on ab so i will draw this construction with the help of black marker now we will say this point of intersection is f now we will highlight so here is this line ac and here is the distance af now we have to find out this angle theta so how to find out so if we observe this triangle afc then this is right angle triangle and we can say that sin of theta sin of theta is equal to af divided by ac now if we observe this f we have drawn perpendicular on this line ab and this f is the middle point of this total length ab so what is the length of af that is 40 divided by 2 that is 20 and what is the length of ac so it is equal to the addition of radius for this cylinder a and for this cylinder c that is 15 plus 15 that is 30 so we can write here sin of theta af by ac which is equal to 20 divided by 30 and therefore theta is equal to 41.8 degree now this half side is also equal to this because uh, this ac is equal to this length bc and this af is equal to length fb so if we have to we can say that this angle theta that is the angle of fcb is also equal to 41.8 degree we will draw the equilibrium diagram we will draw the three cylinders with center a b c with some distance apart now we will join the centers of these three cylinders so this is the construction so i will show here with the help of the dotted lines and we will also join this centers a and b because this is the string ab now here is the angle theta that is the angle made by this line ac with the vertical so here we have to mention that and here this is the inclination of the line bc with the vertical which is also equal to theta now if we observe here the vertical line passing through center a and this is the vertical line passing through center c both are parallel to each other and in between this vertical line here is the same inclined line so these are the opposite angles so here also angle of inclination theta and in the same way with the vertical line passing through b angle of inclination is theta now we will mention the point of contact in between the cylinder a and 
and C is 1 and in between the cylinder B and C is equal to 2. Now we will understand the different reaction forces. If we observe the cylinder with center C, then it is in contact with two point. Here is the point 1 and here is the point 2. So point 1 is the reaction that is offered by the cylinder A towards the cylinder C. And this reaction is along the line joining the center AC. So we have to show that. So here is the reaction R1. Now in the same way at point 2 there is the reaction R2 and which is along the line BC. So we have to show this. So here is the reaction R2. Now we will move to the cylinder A. So for this cylinder A which are the point of contact. So here is the lower point D. Then there is the point 1 and here is the string AB. So I will highlight the string AB with the help of the black marker because here this in the string AB tension is getting created. So I will mention here the R, the action R1. So it is opposite in direction that is it is towards the cylinder A. Then at point D here is the horizontal surface that is the point of in point of contact with cylinder A. So the action developed is perpendicular to this horizontal that means in vertical direction. So we have to show this and it is known as RD. Then the tension is created. So in this spring tension is created. So we, we can say that here is the tensile force is created. So we will show here the tension T outward direction from the center A. Now there is the weight of the each cylinder is given. So weight always acts in vertically downward direction. So weight of cylinder C is given 2000 Newton. So vertically downward direction passing through center. So we have to show here 2000 Newton. Then for cylinder A it is 1000. So we have to show here 1000 Newton. And for cylinder B it is shown that is 1000 Newton. Now we will move to the cylinder B. So cylinder B also it is in contact with string AB. So here also some tensile force is created and it is in the outward direction from the B. So here is also T. Then reaction R2. So it is towards the cylinder B along the line BC. And then it is in point of contact with E with the horizontal surface. So we have to show vertical reaction and it is known as RE. For cylinder C, there are three forces which are passing through a common point C. So we can apply here the Lamis theorem to find out the R1 and R2. So we will rearrange these forces. We will arrange these forces in such a way that they are passing through this point C in the same direction that is in the outward direction. So there is 2000 Newton force which is in vertically downward direction passing through this point C. So here we will show it is equal to 2000 Newton. And then R2. So R2 is making an angle theta with the with this vertical line. So if I extend this R2 then it is passing through this point C and here also it is R2 and it is also making the angle of theta with the same vertical line. So here is the vertical line. Then we will extend this R1 passing through the point C in the opposite direction. So here also it is making an angle theta with the vertical line. So we will show here this angle theta and here is R1. So these are the three forces and here is the common point C. Now how to apply the Lamis theorem? So one force divided by sine of angle between other two forces. So R1 divided by sine of angle between R2 and 2000. So it is 90 plus so total angle if we measure it is 180 minus theta. So we will write R1 divided by 180 minus theta. Which is equal to now R2 divided by sine of angle between R1 and 2000. So it is also sine of 180 minus theta. And then 
2000 divided by sine of angle between R1 and R2. So it is theta plus theta. That is, we will write here theta plus theta. Now we can solve this 2000 divided by sine of theta plus theta because value of theta is known and we will put this value and we can calculate R1 and R2. 2000 divided by sine of 41.8 plus 41.8 so its answer is 2020.2 and to find out R1 we have to multiply this denominator term that is sine of 180 minus theta which is equal to 0 0.66 so R1 is equal to 1346.52 newton and R2 is also equal to 1346.52 newton now we will resolve the forces R1 and R2 related to this cylinder A and B because we have to find out the reactions at point D as well as at point E. So we will resolve this into vertical and horizontal components. So R1 we will resolve here vertical and horizontal component. Now how to find out its value. So here is the angle theta made with this vertical line. So here is the same inclined line. So here also same angle theta. So what is the value for this vertical component R1 cos of theta. R1 cos of theta and for this horizontal component R1 sine of theta. Then we will resolve this R2 into vertical and horizontal component. Now here it is also making an angle. This vertical component is making an angle theta because here also this inclined line and this vertical line making angle theta. So its a value is R2 cos of theta and for the horizontal component R2 sine of theta. We have to find out the reactions rd and re which are in vertically upward direction so we will apply for cylinder a as well as for cylinder b summation of all vertical forces is equal to zero that is summation of fe is equal to zero so if we observe this cylinder a then here is r1 cos theta which is in downward direction so plus r1 cos theta plus 1000 minus rd because it is in opposite direction which is equal to 0. So we will put the value of r1 and theta then rd is equal to 2003.79 newton. Now in the same way for cylinder b we will apply summation of all vertical forces is equal to 0. r2 cos theta plus 1000 minus re is equal to 0. So we will put the value because here r2 and r1 value is same theta value is also same. So RE is also equal to 2003.79 Newton.